This is what endometriosis can look like. Imagine if we were looking with laparoscopy, so if we were looking with a camera inside your tummy, this is what we'd see. You can see patches of endometriosis here are on the uterus. You can see it sitting on the ovaries, on the fallopian tubes, also on the bowel here. And this can also make the organs stick together. So what is endometriosis surgery? Why do we do it? Well, endometriosis is a condition where the tissue that is similar to the lining of the womb grows in places that it shouldn't, like on the ovaries, fallopian tubes, bowel, or your bladder. This can all cause inflammation, scarring, and pain. It can also lead to problems with your fertility. Surgery might be recommended if you've got severe pelvic pain that hasn't improved with medical treatments, hormonal treatments, or you just don't want to try medical treatment. Surgery might also be recommended if you've got signs of severe endometriosis on your scans, like your ultrasound scan or your MRI scan. Sometimes we recommend it if you're having trouble getting pregnant, or if there's an endometrioma, which is a cyst on the ovary that's specifically caused by endometriosis. You also may choose this option if you've tried other treatments, but the symptoms just keep coming back. Now, the aim of surgery is to remove or destroy the visible areas of endometriosis and to free up any of the organs or tissues that might have become stuck together due to scarring, so adhesions. Now, planning your surgery carefully really matters. It's not a one-size-fits-all operation, and depending on the extent and the location of the disease, your surgery may need to be performed by a specialist endometriosis team, and sometimes it can be planned as a multidisciplinary procedure, meaning we've got to involve bowel surgeons or urology surgeons too. And in more complex cases, we might even need to do a stage or a two-stepped approach where we do different areas of treatment and different operations. It's also important that we plan the timing of the surgery carefully. Sometimes it's better to delay the surgery, not rush into it, and instead manage your symptoms with hormone medications. Not meaning that you can never have surgery, but just delaying it until maybe the time when you're planning to conceive, because then your surgery can be done close to the time when you want to get pregnant so it can have that maximum benefit for you. Then surgical technique also matters. Now while most of our procedures are done laparoscopically, we have robotic assisted laparoscopic surgery which can be used in some places for added precision. It can be particularly helpful for deep endometriosis or when we're operating near delicate structures. Your team can help to decide what's right for you. 